Morning guys, I uh, just want to talk about MGTOW. Um, I suppose I can't even give this real title yet, I haven't even thought of the title, I'm just having my morning coffee. Um, but one of the things I was thinking about was how open it is, in the sense that it has a lot of meanings for different types of people, which is why sometimes you can see a little bit of friction and conflict on there as people say, this is the way you should be doing it, or whatever. Um, reality is, it's more important that people are actually recognizing why it exists often than actually following it. What do I mean? Well, the fact is, if you can recognize the problems in society and the way things are being skewed, the way things are being manipulated, then you're already halfway there anyway. So, I mean, I, I was sitting there watching a Polish movie last night, and I've got to admit, I look at a lot of the detective shows out there, and I've noticed a lot of them, are now women as lead characters. Now, it's not that I have too much of a problem with that anyway. I'm not really fussed on that. It's just that it does seem to be going predominantly that way. Um, and a lot of stuff is going female lead character. But when you look at social media and stuff, and you look at some of the people arguing that people should be more more female roles, but then they're also pushing for other uh, people to be specific, you know, um, trying to get some people to be doing transgender roles, for example, into the mainstream media. Now, don't get me wrong, I have no issue with people that are transgender, but I would say they're not the majority. And this is where things have started to skew over the last 20 odd years, is they're trying to skew things from reality. They're trying to make it that it's a majority thing. It would have to be a majority thing for it to be acceptable. And it's not, are oh, you anti this or that, but simply for, for somebody to be in a main role as a transgender this or whatever, and then trying to force it into multiple things, into multiple shows and redirect everything would actually involve basically rewriting how people are because they're not a majority, they're a minority. That's the whole point. Most of these ones that are creating an issue, most of these groups are creating an issue, are minority groups. They're not majority. The problem is the majority has two problems. First one is PC brigade that go along with it. And the second one is people who want to say, well this ain't right or whatever, are then sort of pushed as being a problem and you'll see if you do a bit of googling about um, there's been a few women have this recently because they're not doing transgender roles because they're women doing women roles they've they've actually been attacked on social media now this social media thing needs to have some more focus on and this is the thing where I like about MGTOW because MGTOW is focusing on MGTOW and sort of saying look we're disconnected from this. This is why we're disconnecting from this. But these specific groups are on the attack and it's something that it's difficult to deal with. Why? Because the groups are normally from minority groups that are politically active and they may actually turn around and say they represent whatever when in fact they don't. They represent themselves and their own little niche of people uh, in the sense of the social media warriors, not their broader spectrum of people that are in their own group. In the sense that transgenders, they do not represent all transgender people. In fact, some transgender people probably have the complete opposite view, but that isn't taken into account because these people are social warriors and like to promote themselves as something they really aren't. But they're, the word that I would use is probably dictator because they're a dictatorship and you see it in different types of group. If you go to the feminism groups and the Me Too and that, it's, it started off as one thing and progressed into something else. Um, now, I can give you something I remember back in the late 80s. Yeah, it'd be 80, yeah, somewhere between 84 onwards, 84 to 89. 
In Germany, they changed fishing, um, you know, like fishing with a rod, because we used to do catch and return. And what happened was, you catch a fish and you put it back in the water. The greens and others there deemed that fish shouldn't go back in the water because they carried disease or something that they picked up from being handled or whatever. So they then made it catch and kill. Now, not being funny, there's people like myself would not kill fish that we're not going to eat. But at the same time, these same people um, would then photograph all these dead fish that were not going to be eaten by people from media. Now, were the fish actually going to um, infect it or whatever? I'd, I'd have to question that to the point that I don't think so. Because then the end of the day, I've always done catch and return. It's about sustainability for me. It's about, if you're not going to eat it, don't kill it. That's, that's like anybody that does um, a lot of things of hunting. I'm not a fan of sports hunting, for example. I'm, unless you're going to eat it, I'm not a fan of people killing things. But that is a prime example. They use it as media, as these evil fishermen um, killing all these fish and not eating them because some people would leave them at the rivers and stuff, stuff I wouldn't do, but I also returned them anyway, even after the ban. Um, but what's the point on that? Well, there is no defense for it. They were trying to target fishermen and they made it a very difficult thing to be legal because the law said that you had to kill them. At the same time, they're actually using that as propaganda. We're in an environment of major propaganda from all angles at the minute. And it's not just men that are attacked, the whole displacement of society is being caused by these minorities. And I'm not talking about transgenders, right? I'm talking about social warriors that have a very specific issue. But when they get that done, they then move on to something else, and they move on to something else, and they move on to something else. They are constantly moving the gateposts. At the same time, a lot of the people that would actually be able to prevent this would have to admit something else that said yes on was wrong in the first place. And as such, they just let it go or they support the next thing. Um, this is why if you look at the Me Too, look where it started and look where it's heading. It's, it's changed its dynamic completely. Now, this is why I like MGTOW. MGTOW is about just recognizing a lot of this stuff, recognizing a lot of the displacement, recognizing the changes in law to suit specific agendas. Now, a lot of it is the states avoiding paying um, for other people that wouldn't work, which is why they put the burden on predominantly the man on a divorce relationship. Um, they do not focus on fairness. And this is what I find funny when people go, well, divorce is 50-50. But a lot of time people ain't put 50-50 in. They put 5% in. And the other person's put 95% in. Or they put 10% in, the other person puts 90% in. It was never 50-50 to begin with. There was a constant justification of taking someone else's wealth. Because that's socialism. Socialism thrives on that. It's all about how they'll spend your money, not how they'll spend their own money. And um, at the same time, I do think MGTOW works, and a lot of people are starting to show it can work, and does work. And it's nothing wrong with being in MGTOW. Um, because at the end of the day, it's not a political agenda. It's simply a way of life. It's a choice. It's a being empowered, being, being able to recognize what's going on in the world and seeing the truth. Now, if a lot of people think you're sad, you're lonely, you, you have a thing against women, da, 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 they're the ones with the problem. Because there's nothing saying you've actually really got a problem with any woman whatsoever. You're just saying you're not having a relationship with them. You're just saying I'm not getting caught up in that. You're saying I recognize the legal system is biased. I recognize things have been changed over the last 25, 30 years to the point 
that it, marriage does not make any sense anymore. You're recognizing, if anything, you're putting your entire risk, life at risk for a single contract and decision that can have an effect through your entire life right up to retirement because they can take half your pension even. We shouldn't even be in the marriage. That should be nothing to do with them. They didn't pay for any of that. But it's becoming that. It's about removing the burden from the state, becoming responsible for somebody that is physically capable of working for themselves and should be able to fend for themselves. But instead, they penalize people and they use the same sort of stuff they do with the fish. Go back to the dead fish on the side of the fish on the uh, riverbank, because that's what they look at. Look at the dead fish. These horrible fishermen. Look at, look at these men. These these men are the problem, because they had children. They they are not taking their responsibility. They divorce. They should be responsible for these people. It's it's that sort of driven thing. It's looking at the fish because all it's doing is pointing the finger, saying men bad, men bad, and not how everything come to that moment, not how that is affected with everything else. Not the fact that your, your fishing is a sport and it's not supposed to be destructive, killing or whatever, but instead a relationship has gone the same way. A relationship was about love, companionship, being together for life, and instead, it's ended up with financial uh, destruction, relationship destruction, losing half of everything, if not more, and at the same time, you come out as the bad person. How weird is that? And if it's not orchestrated, I would be very, very shocked. And then when I look at all the way the legal system and everything is, it tells me it has all been manipulated. It's all been pushed that way. And uh, predominantly, it is a social agenda. And not socially friendly, happy and everything else, which a lot of socialism is promoted as being, let's do this and we'll all live happily ever after together. In reality, it's just take, take, take. Thanks for watching.